Welcome to Lizzie Yu. I'm Lynn Bell and today I'm going to show you how to square up your leaders. Many times you're loading your quilt, you know it's squared, and even after you've rolled it back and forth several times to even it out on your frame, you're still getting a droop or a sag somewhere in your quilt, either in the center, on both sides, on one of the sides, and you just can't figure out what it is. You've done everything you're supposed to do and it's still not working. Well, it may be that your leaders are not squared or that they have stretched and become uneven through use over time. If you're always loading your quilt on the, on the same place on the frame with, at the center, it, your, your leaders are going to stretch in the center and you're, you're going to start getting a droop in the center and they'll be tight on the sides. Uh, what I do is I have the 12-foot frame and I load every other quilt on a different, so I will load my one quilt here, the next quilt I do I will load to one side, the next quilt I do I will load to the other side, and then I'll come back and load it to the center so that my leaders stretch out evenly. If it's too late for that or if I still start getting uh, dips in it and unevenness, here's how you can check your leaders. You're going to put in a dark colored thread. We have red thread in here. And I'm going to stitch across my leader to see if that line stays straight. It will indicate, you'll see, if this leader is straight or crooked. Now, I happen to have a quilt magician on my quilting machine. And I have that already set up. And I have it locked vertically so it cannot move back and forth. That ensures me that I'm going to get a straight line horizontally. If you don't have that and you just have the machine without the Quilt Magician, you can purchase one of these clamps at your local uh, home store or tool store. It, it's very easy on my hands. I don't have strength in my hands, so it's very easy to shut, and then you release it with this. And I'll demonstrate how to put this on the wheel. You simply go put your machine where you want your straight line to go across horizontally, and then you come back here and you put this clamp on your wheel. It doesn't have to be real tight, just enough to keep the wheel from moving and to be, it should be touching the track. I'll let go of it. I'll come up to the front and that will lock my machine. Now, if you're gonna yank your machine forward, that clamp's gonna release. But if all you do is gently pull it to the side, that clamp will hold and it will hold your machine straight. I'm gonna remove the clamp now because I do have the quilt magician on so I don't need the clamp. I have pinned my fabric to the edge of the leader, as far to the edge as I can get it, and I've unrolled it quite a way so that I have a nice working area. I have set my machine to stitch just above where the pins are, and I have put it at five stitches per inch. Now, So if you look closely at this leader, you will see that I am this far away. My red line is this far away from the edge at this end, and it's this far away from the edge at this end. The problem is not my quilt or my quilt back. It is that my leader is uneven. I will now use this line as a reference. I will remove the leader from the frame with the Velcro, take it to my sewing machine, and hem it so that this line is straight and my hem is straight. Now my leader will be straight. You use the red line or the stitch line as your reference for giving yourself a new hem that is perfectly straight. You do that to all three of your leaders. So on this one, I would release my uh, clamp here and roll it all the way to the end until that leader was out. I would reset my wheel where I needed it and lock it in place and stitch here and then you will do the same thing to the top and you will be leveling you will be squaring up all three of your leaders. Thanks for joining us at Tin Lizzie 18, where we're committed to helping quilters of all levels realize their quilting dreams.
Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Check out our calendar regularly for upcoming webinars, new videos, and classes. Happy quilting!